Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to another Who's That Indie? It's a strategic tactical survival indie games to your face off. Today's first impression is Warhammer Chaos Bane, which is basically oh, it's another one, a fantasy or a or Warhammer Fantasy Diablo game. It's an action RPG or an ARPG. For those who don't know, an RPG is usually fighting two or three enemies more tactical. An ARPG is usually you killing massive amounts of enemies at any one time doing a lot of damage, as you can see. Now the game... We'll start with the things I know about the game. I've played it before. It's on a free weekend this week, I thought I'd give it a try. Um, I've played it before. It's um, I've seen a couple of other people play it too. Just to see, obviously different characters and this is one of the five this is the dwarven engineer who uses a flamethrower who does some flame attacks and obviously does a lot of damage also they because they're not exactly a melee soldier they take a lot of damage too we'll talk about it so the game right now is 14 pound off but it's 40 pound full price this game is considered a 40 pound full price full product game you can buy a 5% gold boost for £4. You can buy four hats for £3. These are extra DLCs. You can buy an emote pack for all five characters for £4. Uh, yeah, so there's these lovely little you can buy a 5% gold booster pack for £4. Doesn't that sound awesome? So, yeah, that's an awesome little thing. Let's talk about the actual game itself, as opposed to the fact that you can buy a gold booster for four extra pound on a forty pound game. So the game, it you know, plays like an ARPG. You run around, you stab a lot of things. As you can see, the AI is absolutely rubbish. Most of the enemies you can run past. So the enemy is like a load of chaos troops. It is the end. It's not the end times. You're in Magnus the Pierce's or the Pierce's reign which is about 200 years before Karl Franz, who's the current emperor of the empire. So it's four person co-op. Obviously it's still chaos going on, there's always chaos. The enemies are mostly um, chaos warriors of Nurgle, so you'll fight Nurgle demons, you'll fight Nurgle chaos spawn, you'll fight Nurgle cultists, and you'll also fight beastmen. Now the enemies revolve around two different types. There's the regular types, then there's the elite types. The elite types boil down to they do a bit of damage and they take about three to four minutes to kill. Things don't get names unless they're bosses, so the elites you only know they're elites because they have a green symbol above their head. They don't give you any name. There's no real random lore like Diablo 2, about 10, 15 years gave them, you know, in the current future. And you could meet random enemies and they'd have names. You don't get that. Because why do you give them random names? Um, the enemy AI boils down to you can run past the enemy. And they will try and follow you. The, uh, as you can see, that's really good. Oh wait, they've turned around. About an extra five seconds later. Uh, they also have some archers they shoot. There's some magic casters. But yeah, most of the time you just walk past them. The AI has this like delay of like two to three seconds to reacting to you. Don't know why. The pathfinding is pretty terrible. One thing I have noticed in many playthroughs is the loot has no bloody point to it. You get tons and tons of loot. It's like, oh, there's another elite I'm going to ignore because he has too much health. Goodbye. Oh, Chaos Warriors, so even more elites with lots of health. So yeah, most of the time when you see an elite, you don't really think, oh cool, more things. You think, oh cool, more of my time wasted. The improved skill, awesome. Like, they aren't really powerful. They're just massively annoying. Now, each character you play has a gimmick. This one has um, Steam. So you can see the white bar in the bottom left, that's my steam bar. It builds up, and it builds up, I can shoot it out as my special abilities, which is fire. And another thing, obviously you'd think this being another really important part of the ability would be really visible, it's not. In the other characters it's not visible either. 
Yeah, shut up. I'm trying to talk. Another thing which is important about the character is each ability does something. Like with the Dwarven Slayer, it's usually like Bloodlust and so on. Oh my god. It's this bit here. See this teeny little thing here? This overheating. If I do that, I can literally, if I want to, do this. Shoot steam at them. Yeah. And that steam, of course, will do damage. Like, obviously, the bloodlust is also there. But weirdly enough, even though there's this huge, huge icon here. You could tell, say, steam pressure in the level up bar. Like, show this slowly lifting its lid or something. Just slowly dying from poison on the floor. Yeah, I know. But yeah, enemy elites, they don't have names. They have too much health. And a normal difficulty, they take forever to kill. And harder difficulties, they take forever to kill, but you have to dodge their attacks, too. Now, you get health back by hitting the enemy. But most of the elites just take forever to kill. So yeah, when you kill them, obviously you have to dodge and stuff. So elites have no name, but they hang around long enough that you wish they had a name so you could yell at them. That about sums up elites. They just exist for... You must, they're just damaged sponges. They're literally just damaged sponges. I mean, you take a lot of damage from them, obviously you can back away, get healed again. Because your health thing regenerates, this the Q button. Yeah, I know, I know. And because of all Nurgle, a lot of them just have poison attacks. Now this game is, you know, mixed received. Probably because you probably spent £40 on a £20 game, or maybe you bought a gold DLC. I might actually die. Obviously, this is not a combat, you know, close range combat character. My vital oh dear. What happened there? My body just flew over to the side. Let's uh, pay to revive. So, gold, as far as I can tell, has no real use apart from reviving you. You're not one of them, but. No. Job's done. I can, it might appear later on, but you get huge amounts of gold at the beginning, and it doesn't really do anything. Items exist purely. To like just chain, make you slightly more powerful. You like you press shift to see how good they are. But most of the time, you will find that the items you're using. Look, see, I have so many items. They do change how you look, which is nice. But that's all they really do. There's better armor. Just so many items. You don't actually care about items after a while. Who would? Just becomes madness. So yeah, all items don't really care. You can give them away as a gift. And then that gift will um, unlock more character customization options. So you can make yourself look nicer. But that's about it. As you can see, I died. I just paid money to come back. We'll see if I can actually spend any of my money. I'm only like a few missions in. But yeah, the AI is pretty bad. The pathfinding is pretty bad. The elites stay around too long. Way too long. And because they don't have names, and because you see them so often, you really don't care about was, them. I, I don't know whose idea it was to make thousands of characters bullet sponges and throw them in the game. But there they are. Just going to skip that. Let's see. Also, each character obviously has their own different area. Tower of Chaos, Boss Rush, Relic on Trade. Don't have Trade yet. So until you get trade, you can't do anything. So, you know, let's just trade everything I don't like. All you can do now is unlock new appearances. So until you get trade, you can't trade. Until you get a stash box, you don't get a stash box. Most ARPGs give you a stash box in the first part of the game. And this one is about an hour and a half. So, you know, you don't... You don't need a stash box till later on because you just get so much loot, who the hell cares? And that's what it is. So, yeah, there's a lot of issues with the game. I like Diablo. I liked Diablo 3 after a while. But yeah, 
The actual enemies are nicely designed. As you can see, there's cultists. There's also ungors. As you can see, they're very good at their job. They're very, very good at their job. There's loot everywhere. Because there's constant amounts... Let's do this. Let's fire mortar. And also, they're very easy to kill. Enemies boil down to basic troops who die very quickly, or elite troops who take about a minute each. Which I feel is just there to pad out the game. There's no real tactical variety to the elite troops. They just take a long bloody time. But you get Chaos Cultists, who obviously use Nurgle. You get Brave Shamans... Oh, here's a Bray Shame, just as we, sport, as we spoke. Let's just kill him. Give me a minute. But yeah, just take a long time. I imagine, like, on harder difficulties, they'd be tougher. Because you have to actually you know, dodge them. But all I can think is, it would make these annoying battles even longer. Like, the only reason I take so much damage from them is because I'm just trying to do as much damage there as possible so I can get past them. And you meet multiples of these elites. Multiples elites every single time. Like I say, each character is his own little thing. I do really wish that Steam thing. And here's a hundred years big massive pulse would be, say, here. Look, you're going to use a massive, massive real estate for the level you are. Maybe it could have, I don't know, put something else on it. But yeah, bosses are interesting. Obviously, they have names, even they're generic. And they're alright. They feel a little bit better than the elite battles, because, you know, at least they have names and more appropriate health bars. But because it's always poison, everything's poison. But they still die about the same length and speed as the elites. Just their errors are slightly more interesting. But everything is poison. Everything is poison. The entire game is basically Blight Town. And obviously they do telegraph their attacks. But yeah, everything is Blight Town in this game. Poisoned, regenerating chaos troll. Okay. Wish I had a melee character now, or a proper ranged character. This hybrid class is bloody useless for doing enough damage in time. Yeah, you're finding a lot of poison. If you don't like poison, don't play the game when Nurgle is the choice, so everything does DPS over time. Okay, let's hit him with the steam. How are you still poisoning from over there? So yeah, you either take the damage, because you have to, or you don't take the damage, and it takes even longer. Now people are probably screaming at me that there are better tactics and ways to play the game. Yeah, there are. There's also better games, which do ARPG better. Like Path of Exile, that's free. Diablo 3. That is about, I don't know, 12, 11, 12, 11 pounds or something these days? There's a lot of better games out there for cheaper prices. Now, Maybe it's meant to be £14 forever now. Maybe that's just their pretend price of £40. But until they take away the fact that it says £40 full price, it's £40 full price. And that's insane. Now, the Creatives game also made How to Survive 1 and 2, which is basically this, but with zombies, and also a very robust crafting and base building system, and named Zombies. Which makes it absolutely insane that they haven't got named creatures in this, apart from the bosses. My vital signs are weak. I've had a look. I'm going to have another look again, just to make sure. Nope. Still need to wait a few 
Oh my god. Okay, bloody. How long was that? Um, so yeah, I'd like to obviously change things to make it so I can actually see what the enemies are called, but we... Uh, player icons, player names, enemies health, display summons HP, allies HP, so you can't add names to the enemies. You display elite HP, which is nice, but yeah, there's no names for these characters, they're just bullet spongy mixed bullet sponge. Obviously, to get health back, I have to do more damage. I probably have to go and find some more items. But it is what it is. Also, you can level up and make yourself slightly more powerful. But yeah, it is what it is. Let's do this. Nope, there's another elite. Let's ignore him. Yeah, my advice, actively avoid the elites. They give you maybe a little bit of items, a little bit of loot, but there's nothing else they really do. I got, I'm getting better skills at least. So when you, you can pause in like um, single player. The skills, Iron Strike. I said that. Okay, Iron Dragon Superior, yes. Points available. Too much pressure. I don't want to explode. I want you to explode. There's another chest. I can find chests all over the damn game. Sometimes they have nice things, and most of the time they do not. But yeah, just gonna avoid the elite. I missed a chest. I missed something back there. Okay. Excuse me, guys. Gotta go back. Load them up north. Let's have a look. What, we got anything nice? I'll take that. That's cute. Like, I do like how it changes your character. That is a nice thing. Hmm. Okay, let's go back again. That's elite giving up? Where's the elite? Is he over here? God, that spawn does not move far, does it? Is he despawned? That's a spawn? Despawned. What the hell? Where's the, where's the spawn gone? It was following me. The spawn is despawned. So this ability I'm using isn't really that useful. Let me have a little look. Okay, five is obviously Iron Dragon. I've upgraded that to do more damage. Iron Dragon Superior. Right. I don't have the points. Nine points. Iron Strike is equipped on that. Yes, I need that. Upgraded Radiator. I've got that, don't I? Yes. Okay, so I need to get rid of the points a little bit. I must wait. Let's kill a few of these. Let's get some points going on. Oh, there's, a, there's another Chaos Spawn. We'll go past him. I'm not fighting yet another bullet sponge. But yeah, I recommend playing Diablo 3. Now they've gotten rid of some of their stupid economy, it works really well. Obviously, it does the same ARPG thing. It also feels like it's designed for a console. But yeah, there's a huge amount of poison in this game. There's a huge amount of summons in this game. It's very much designed to force you to constantly be moving. Now, I imagine it'd probably be a lot more fun with friends. But a lot of games are more fun with friends. A lot of games are just more fun. And also more fun with friends. So, you know, it's your choice what you do. Hello. Hello, summoner. Bye, summoner. Is the spawn despawned again? Huh. Okay. There's another brave shaman elite. We'll ignore him as well. So just walk past three elites because they're just a hello there hassle. Actually, you see, you can. Uh, you don't really get anything unique for killing the elites, you just get more things. Oh, can't jump over, okay. Oh, the Bray Shaman's over there. Do this. Hey, Bray Shaman. Bye, Bray Shaman.
Don't care about any of you. Good luck. Nurglings. Yeah. Kill all the regulars, get your experience, fight the elites if you want to give you more experience, but they are just one big massive hassle. Oh, Minotaur, another elite. Nope. Okay. Might fight the Minotaur without force him so far, but it looks like what he does is um, charge attacks. At least he's not poisonous, so I'm happy here. Not very smart. But yeah, he's not a boss. He's an elite. Do you know, so the elites which are meant to be bosses or like named, you know, named mini-bosses in these games. They're unnamed mini-bosses you see a lot of. An awful lot of. Like We saw like, what, three Chaos spawns? One Bray Shaman. And now we're fighting this guy. I mean, all we've got is a, is a health bar for these guys. It's not really that exciting. They don't do anything spectacular. Okay, he's dead. And they drop basic gear. You're better off hunting for the chests, honestly. Yeah, it's out. It's been out for quite a while. It's a game I was super excited for. But, like I say, the better games out there. Older, better games. Like even bloody Diablo 2 knew about the um about naming its characters. I no like I may I can understand maybe not naming all the characters, but name your elites. We've name the ones you have to deal with for more than three seconds. Uh, it's what it is. Anything more useful? Take that. That gives me more damage but less armor, more of everything. But yeah, you get huge amounts of loot. Most of it is not useful. Mostly just gonna donate. Tombs of knowledge. Okay, good. Go away. So tombs of knowledge is just a passive. There yeah, is it. This gives me extra bonus experience. Maybe maybe I'll get rid of that. I'll give me six. I'll give me five. Okay, let's get rid of this. And up this, I use it so much. I've lost my. Oh, I put it on the wrong one. Where's my left click gone? Come back, left click. Okay, so I'll do even more damage. But yeah, like this. The uh, Steam should definitely put on the big icon they've got. Like, it's the same on every character. Part of their special ability is put next to the big icon, take up a large chunk of the screen. It's just weird quality of life things. Like you had two or three people building something, and they weren't talking to each other. Hello guys, bye bye guys. So those are Ungors, these are Chaos Cultists. They're more Chaos Cultists. Oh look, another Minotaur, I haven't seen one of those in a few seconds. Let's go past him, because who cares. Hey guys. Bye guys. But yeah, if you want to fight yet another Minotaur doing all the same minotaur things without a name or a special ability. Yay! Like, you know, give one cold damage. Give one slightly faster speed. Make the elites unique as opposed to... Oh look, another Minotaur! I haven't seen one of those in a minute. Bloody hell. No originality in the game. No originality whatsoever. bloody ever. Now there's two of the damn high damage things I have to deal with. It's not like they're doing anything unique. Look, they're fighting the floor now. The only way I'm taking damage is if I physically try and fight them. I can just move. And the Dwarf Slayer, who's literally a Slayer, has unlimited high damage axes he can throw, which is really going to top. 
But yeah, like I say, you can fight them if you want to. I wouldn't recommend it. They just exist. There we go. Kill them all for some more blue. Wasn't worth it. Was not worth it, no. So no, there are better games. I recommend getting, picking up Diablo 3. Oh, look at the Chaos Warrior. Actually, if he's got the, the mark of um, Nurgle, he's a chosen Chaos Warrior. Yeah, not worth fighting whatsoever. Like, with friends, they would go away quicker. But it's still... There's another one. See? Another one. Unnamed, but also it still exists. Let's go here. Do that. And go here. Do that. And then use our first elite... Oh, legendary hammer. Yeah, it's not worth fighting him. They stop chasing after... Oh, look, another elite! That's two Chaos Champions, two Minotaurs, and a Bray Sherman so far. Three Minotaurs, two Chaos Champions, and a Bray Shaman. None of them named, all do the exact same thing. Like I say, they're just bullet sponges. That's all they are, they just exist to slow you down. They don't exist to, an to fight you, they exist just to annoy you enough that you have to fight them. Guess we're going up. As you can tell, I'm not impressed with this game. I was hoping to, but I played enough ARPGs to know when they've intentionally slowed you down. Like having nearly every character poison you, or having all the big guys basically absorb all damage and, and take forever to die. They're just ways to slow you down. Like there's other ways to make you slow down, like fighting hordes. You know, it's not easy, fun things to kill massive amounts of. Oh look, another Minotaur! That's four of them now! Another Chaos Warrior, that's three of them. Whoop. Chaos Spawn, that's the first one we finally spotted. Looks like every area gets its um, elite. That's our first Summoner Cultist. We'll ignore him. There we go. Found it. When Keller's overheating, he's a certain level. Yeah, I know. Praise the dark gods. Oh wow! Have given... This is an interesting, boss. I'm out of fuel right now. Okay. So this is interesting. The bosses are interesting. Oh, another brave bloody shaman. But it was interesting. Like, how do I destroy them? Is it when they're shooting? That's what these things. Aha! Okay. Let's get rid of him, he's just annoying. Why would you add an elite into a boss battle? Come on. This is interesting. I like this. This is very interesting. Please don't spawn another one. Oh, I spawned another Bray Sherman! Shame, shame it. Bray, Bray Sherman. Okay, let's we'll ignore him then. That's fun. Okay, there we go. So you can't use your abilities obviously when you have too much pressure. Now you can release the pressure like I've said. 
It's almost not worth it. Now, this feels like another of those boss battles designed for either a team or to also, again, waste a bit of your time. But at least it's different. We're not going to be fighting another, like, ten of these again. I'll find another 15 bloody Minotaurs. Oh, come on! Did they going to take forever? So yeah, the whole game feels like someone looked at a game of ARPG and thought, how can we make it longer without making it interesting? Weirdly enough. Because ARPG is about fighting and speed and so on. You know, you're meant to have a lot of fun and kill a lot of things. You're not meant to be fighting the same enemies over and over again with no difference whatsoever. But here we are. Oh god, another elite! I'm just gonna keep on adding elites every time I kill something. Anyway, yeah, I've been the Fallen Shogun. This has been. Uh. Warhammer Chaos Bane. Get, um. Get Diablo 3. Get Diablo 2! Yeah, get Diablo 2. I mean, it's a very on recent game, Diablo 2, with its named characters and making you want to get the loot and having trading in at the very beginning. Having a stash in the very beginning too, but yeah, I'd get, get, get Diablo 2, get Diablo 3, get Path of Exile, get Titan Quest, get any of the interesting games, but yeah, only get this if you like what you're currently seeing. And I think for most people it would be if you like playing Warhammer, because obviously there are better, much better ARPGs out there. Anyway, I've been the Fallen Shogun. Ciao, us now. Be awesome. Be epic. Please don't put another elite in. And I'll be seeing you next time. Let's just kill you. I've still got no use for my money, so maybe I'll just spend it on being alive.